You have a gun, either of you? Un volontaire pour 8 heures? No. They shall attack again tonight. You don't want to be taken alive. Believe me. Shoot yourselves. Thank you. Thanks. Stay inside that bunker. Allez, on se dépêche là. Dépêchez-vous, rapportez-moi ce bunker. Allez. Got something? No, thank you. Come on. You didn't come up to check your medical team. Joe Tunney sent you, right? Little intelligence work. I've never been very good at keeping secrets. Uh, there is another reason why I came up here. Me? Yeah. Uh, you said that you might be coming up here. Yeah. Um, the thing is, it's about fun. Um, well, I guess it started that night when we were at the Larco Ciel and I was dancing with her. <laughs> I didn't think you ever got close enough. And then I had dinner with her and her sister last Saturday. And just when I was sitting there looking at her, I, it, it all just became so clear to me. I see. Look, Tom, none of this was planned. There's no way. I never, ever used to believe in love at first sight. But after seeing all those other girls in that awful place and thinking that, that Fong could very easily become one of them, I don't know, I want to protect her. And what did she say when you offered her your protection? I haven't told her yet. You haven't told her? No, I didn't think it'd be right. I wanted to speak with you first. Look, if you two had been married, that'd be a completely different situation. I can never marry her. Oh, shit. My wife would never give me a divorce. She's a Catholic. It's getting closer. They're walking into it. 